In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how to improve controller support for the UI in your Unity games. You may not know this, but the Unity Canvas UI already has options for using controllers and keyboards as input. If you create a Canvas UI, you'll notice that it creates an event system with it. This contains the options for horizontal and vertical and submit and cancel, so you can navigate between the different buttons. I'm going to create a couple of buttons so that we can go between them and see how this works. You'll notice that these buttons both have arrows going to and from each. These arrows are only present because I have the navigation visualize checked. This allows you to visualize how you go between each button on a UI with a controller. There are different options such as horizontal, vertical, automatic, and explicit. Explicit allows you to set what each one does in each direction. But I normally use automatic because that one works pretty well for me. I will select both buttons and change their highlighted color so I can see it a little easier. And their press color so I can see that a little easier. Now, if I play the game, you'll notice that pressing up or down doesn't do anything yet. And that's because I have nothing selected. So if I click on something, and then go up or down, I can go between them. To bypass this, the event system has something called first selected, and that will make it so one of them is selected by default so that I don't have to click on anything first. I will select the second button that I made because I believe that was the one on the top. Now that one is selected by default, I can press up or down and go between them without having to click on anything first. Of course, this is crucial for a game that uses controller input. Now there's another few options here that I wanted to look at. The horizontal and vertical were the ones I really wanted to look at. You can change what says horizontal or vertical to any of the inputs that you have on your input manager. To demonstrate this, I will change horizontal to mouse X and vertical to mouse Y. You see these are both labeled in my input manager, and by adding those to the standalone input module, I can now actually move my mouse up and down to go between each button. On the standalone input module, submit and cancel are also set to submit and cancel by default, which on a controller means A or B, but on a keyboard means enter or escape. If I have this one selected and I press enter, it'll select that one. I hope this video has given you a better understanding on how controllers work with the Unity Canvas UI and I hope you can use this to give your users a better experience in your Unity games.